You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Falls. What's going on, NASCAR Athletics Collectors and Diecast Reviewers on YouTube? This is Original Big Bright here, and welcome to another NASCAR Athletics Diecast Review on my YouTube channel. And today we're going to be reviewing another cool looking car from Wave 10, and this is probably another hot seller car that we're going to have for NASCAR Authentics also in Wave 10. And without further ado, guys, it is going to be on the long awaited Diecast Review on Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2017 Exalta Last Ride Chevrolet SS 400 Motorsports. As you guys know, this diecast review is going to be pretty nostalgic for any uh, fans out there, or any longtime Dale Jr. fans. I'm really looking forward for this diecast review. As you see right there, we got this nice, bright red, beautiful box to go along with this uh, very iconic paint scheme, which will be going into details on this diecast review. Now, on the back right here, we got the usual background for all the other cars from Wave 10 and the traditional uh, packaging and all the licensing, all that wonderful stuff that's, you know, pretty uninteresting to us because we love diecasts. But without further ado, you guys, we're going to go ahead on back to this bad boy and we're going to take a closer look at the Dale Earnhardt Jr. Last Ride car. All right, buddy, we got the Dale Earnhardt Jr. Last Ride car out of its box and oh my God, guys. If you guys weren't a longtime NASCAR fan and you guys have been finally waiting to see this paint scheme maker return, I tell you what, man, this is going to be a cool looking car to, you know, add to your collection. But before we look at this beautiful looking car, as always, we're going to be looking at the little accessories that come with the NASCAR Authentics cars, and it is going to be a collector card. So this is something very similar to that we had with uh, Tony Stewart's last ride car from uh, from um, last year's, uh, from last year. And then uh, the back right here, you guys can pause the video and read all that wonderful information but it's a great dedication for Dale Arn Jr. as you guys probably already know that this is his last ride so of course it is going to be a hot seller no matter what because it is a Dale Jr. car it's also was I believe I mean not surprisingly the number one best-selling diecast for 2017 so spoiler alert I know I haven't done the countdown yet but if you guys saw Lionel's uh, diecast countdown then you guys know what is the number one selling diecast so here is the number one selling diecast 2017 right here and ready to review for you guys and see right here of course since this is a header motorsports car and a 164 car we do not have the monster energy logos on um, the sides and we do not have the monster energy banner and the name banner on the windows like usual for NASCAR authentics cars so yeah, this paint scheme right here, guys, as I'm going to show you guys a 360 view of this car. If you are a Dale Jr. fan, you, you, I mean, I don't even have to explain it. This is the famous DEI stripes that he ran in his rookie year for the Winston Cup Series, which that was, well, was firmly known back then for any new fans out there that are watching this video. Um, and look at that. We even got a nice little message right there from uh, Nationwide as it is a crooked looking message. But uh, yeah. Right there, it says, thank you, Junior Nation, from Dale Jr. and Nationwide. As you guys know, Nationwide will be carrying over, uh, all, all the sponsors for Dale Jr. are carrying over to um, not only um, Alex Bowman, but also William Byron. But yeah, that's going to be really different, especially since the 88 fonts get changed as well. But we're not going to be talking about 2018 right now. This diecast review is going to reflect on 2017 and Dale Jr.'s career in whole. You guys know Dale Jr. is probably the most popular driver in NASCAR. I mean, we're not surprised. The son of Dale Earnhardt, who is a seven-time, you know, NASCAR champion, a Daytona 500 champion, you know, I mean, he was also voted one of the greatest drivers, if not the greatest driver in NASCAR. His son, however, though, you know, didn't really live up to the expectations, but still had a really great personality, and that's something that I think a lot of people respect for Dale Jr. He might not have the stats like his father, but his personality really did shine out, and I think that's why a lot of people became a Dale Jr. fan. I myself was as well, guys. Before, Long before I was a Mark Trish Jr. fan or a Carl Edwards fan, this is the guy who got me into NASCAR. So looking back at this car, man, just it really brings back a lot of great memories. I am just so glad even though they couldn't get the Budweiser sponsorship because, you know, they sponsor uh, and they have the licensing rights to Stewart Racing, which Kevin Harvick has that. Um, yeah, guys, I'm so glad they got away with this paint scheme. I'm glad Teresa Earnhardt, you know, didn't, uh, you know, did, um, you know, complain about, you know, using the DEI stripes. I'm really glad to let this one slide. And thank God, guys. I mean, we, we needed a great send off for Dale Jr. And this, I guess, right here is something. However, though, this car is cool, but I would probably recommend getting the race version car that's going to be coming out, and I believe in April or May, because they are making a race version car. But, because it is going to be a little more accurate, uh, 
but this paint scheme is still pretty cool regardless, guys. However, though, we're going to be looking at diecast comparison, and we're going to be looking back at all the other uh, last ride cars. So here is Tony Stewart's last ride car for NASCAR Authentics. Um, you know, you can't really do a comparison, but you guys can just see, you know, how much effort they really put into the paint scheme for Dale Jr.'s on like Tony Stewart's, which was just all a bunch of signatures for um, from the Stewart House Racing organization. But I definitely do like some variety, and that was pretty cool right there. But I, if I do have to say so myself, the Dale Jr. last ride car, easily without a doubt, my favorite last ride car that we got for um for the other for the for the other two drivers which the other driver we got to talk about is another popular driver jeff gordon and yes this was also released in nascar authentics as well um but i did got this car before the nascar authentics wave was released um this is like this was actually released way before nascar authentics was even released from line now but yeah guys but this is a better comparison because we got the exalta last ride cars um you know <laughs> i mean you definitely just see the evolution of the paint scheme um you know, of course, both are teammates, both drive the Exalta cars. Well, they were teammates, but now, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool that uh, actually both these guys are going to be, uh, you know, commentators. Uh, Jeff Gordon's already been a Fox commentator, and then we're going to have uh, Dale Jr. as the NBC commentator for next year. So uh, kind of ironic right there, um, you know, having those two uh, different personality drivers in NASCAR to go ahead and, um, you know, you know, do something that they love and still continue in the sport that we all love indeed. So, yeah, guys, I mean... Do I even got to say any more about this car? You know, <laughs> if you're just starting now on NASCAR diecast collecting, this car is the car to get right here. No exceptions right here. I can't come with any excuses on this car. Even if you get a severely, uh, you know, painted, chipped car on this car, if that made any sense. If you get like a, a really, you know, badly chipped car, still... Keep it in your savings because this car is going to be really nice to have, especially when the years go on. And to reflect back on this car, it really does mean something. And it's a shame that Dale Jr. has officially hanged up the helmet in NASCAR, but it's still going to be cool. He's going to be connected in the sport, unlike, you know, some other former drivers that we know, like Matt Kenseth and Carl Edwards and such. But that's all I got to say on the Dale Earnhardt Jr. 2017 Exalta Last Ride um, Chevrolet. SS from Hendrick Motorsports. If you guys enjoyed the special diecast review, please give a good comment, like it. If you guys have not already, I highly encourage you guys to subscribe to this channel for any more of the latest NASCAR Authentics diecast reviews and many more to come. But until then, guys, this is Original Big Bright. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in another episode of the NASCAR diecast review.